it's so bright on my camera it is valentine's day and we're having a curry night i haven't challenged like a curry night yet so we're doing it and i'm very excited i think i got a korma did i get a korma i actually can't remember I, I, oh yeah that was a whole fiasco about the korma i got the korma let's go I'm excited. I'm excited. Look at that. I'm sorry. That looks... It does. Mm. So I take my first bite. I love korma. I like literally korma. love it. I also got pilau rice and peshwari naan, which are all my favourite parts. What? Am I saying it wrong? I oh yeah, apparently it's pilau rice. I, I don't know. But I say pilau. Anyway, I basically just got all the things I used to love in a curry. I sound like I was going to cry. Curry. Mm. Oh my god. That's so good. That is incredible. That sauce is amazing. I'm trying an onion bhaji. Hey, I'm really proud of myself right now. Me too. I can't believe I'm sat here doing this, like genuinely. Mmm. <laughs> I'm actually thriving right now. <laughs> Couldn't think of the words. I did it! I just ate my first like curry night thing. I don't know, like actual Indian takeaway. I'm very, very happy with myself. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm so eating with that one. Um, I didn't finish it all because I'm at a place in my recovery now where I know I can leave stuff and it's genuine. It's not anorexia or anything. Like I know that I'm full and I've had enough and I can go back to it or have something else later if I get hungry again. So I haven't finished it all. I'll probably eat the leftovers tomorrow to be honest because it was really good and I don't want to waste the food. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a bit of like a day in the life um, as someone trying to find their feet after suffering with anorexia for a long time and managing things by myself and trying to be independent. Um, I am very independent now and just I have a bit more going on today so I thought I'd vlog. Um, I've obviously included a few clips from the past couple days because I did some fun things like I saw Bastille and it was Valentine's Day so we got a takeaway and that was fun and it was a little challenge so I thought I'd share it with you. Today I'm getting a tattoo. Whoa! My fourth tattoo and me and my boyfriend are going out for a meal tonight that my parents bought us a voucher for for Christmas that we haven't used yet. So that's happening. My hair is a little bit wet right now. I think I'm just gonna let it naturally dry. I obviously filmed breakfast. Uh, I haven't had a snack yet and I am late to snack time, but I've been kind of faffing this morning. I need to actually take my meds. I need to take my meds, give me one sec. Um, this is a reminder to you as well. If you need meds, um, you can take them. It's Wednesday, today. There is nothing wrong with needing medication for your mental health. Even though I do despise taking it. I hate swallowing tablets so much. Cool, now it's time for a snack. I'm not sure what I wanna have. Thinking kind of maybe yogurt and granola. I'm gonna have yogurt and granola. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to be scared of these jars because I thought I was going to lose a finger doing that. Up until I was probably like 14, I won't even lie. Anyways, where the. Uh, I left my granola over there. <laughs> let's have a chat. Also, the cow slippers are in use. Anyway, let's have a chat about independence um, after relying on people to monitor your eating for a long time. Because I think I really struggled with it because I thought like I wouldn't be able to handle the guilt. Like I wouldn't be able to let myself eat by myself. I just didn't think I could do it for ages. I would honestly be like, I don't think I can eat unless somebody else is there. Whereas now like I'm home alone. I had breakfast on my own. I'm gonna have snack and lunch on my own because I'm growing, I'm becoming an adult. And I know now that like eating is not negotiable. I'm not different to anyone else in the sense that I need fuel to live. Nobody else needs to be there for me to deserve to eat. Like I deserve to eat no matter what. I don't need somebody else telling me that I do or 
watching me to make sure I do eat because there's no part of me that wants to lose weight now. Like I'm in the body I'm in and I'm actually having a struggle with my body image at the moment, but like I don't want to lose weight because it's not going to solve anything. Why would I not eat? Because if I don't eat then I will lose weight and that's not what I want and it won't be healthy weight loss either. It'll be the sort of weight loss that destroys my body so I'm not doing that. I don't know why I sound so angry right now. I'm not angry. I'm just like fast talking. But yeah, like I've really found my feet in like being completely independent. And my uh, best friend said to me the other day when she came downstairs and I was just sat on the sofa eating pizza by myself that we'd had the night before and I was having it for like lunch the next day. And she was like, I never imagined you doing that. And, like I never saw myself doing that. Like I honestly thought I'd be stuck in the anorexia bubble for my entire my life but alas I am not and I'm not 100% of the way there but I'm very far through and I'm just so grateful for I am I know for some people that struggle with anorexia they have a thing where they can't eat in front of other people and so this won't be the same for them I mean I have that to an extent like I wouldn't let myself eat around people that weren't like my parents or but like I also know a lot of people especially people that have had anorexia in their teenage years will probably have struggled with getting used to always kind of being forced to have your meals by like a meal plan and your parents and your treatment team and then you get into proper recovery and you realise that everyone's not going to do that forever and it's hard but I just want to say you are fully allowed to eat by yourself and take independence because whether you eat by yourself or in front of someone else it doesn't matter you need the food either way so just allow yourself I also have some like housework bits to do before I leave for my tattoo today. I need to do the washing up. I need to do some of my washing as well, like clothes. I also need to get a change when I get home because my tattoo is going to be here. I obviously don't really want to be like rolling my sleeve up, so I hope I remember to do that. I'm going to finish eating this. I just got a text. And I will see you at lunch probably. I had to run and get my ASOS parcel and I didn't have my keys and I said to the lady, I was like, can you just leave it there because I don't have my keys. She did. It's actually present so I won't open it but I'm just glad I got it because you're not home you like just lob things over the house and you're just like, fine, no worries. But anyway, back to washing up. I just sat on my MacBook. Ah! <laughs> right, time to edit. So, I just got home and I'm having some lunch. So, I'm having tomato soup and sourdough bread. The bread's homemade by mum, obviously. And I'm using my You're More Than How Your Body Looks spoon, which I designed with Lana's basket. I think it's still available. I'll leave her shop linked in the description anyway. I just got changed so that I can, like, take my shirt off and get my tattoo because that jump would have been well awkward. And now I'm just shipping a cardigan that I sold to a lovely girl on Instagram. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram, I'll leave it here. I post nice eating disorder recovery stuff. And also I have a personal Instagram. If you want to follow me, I do sell clothes on there on my stories sometimes. I would never throw clothes away, but I also know that like a lot of you are very nice to me about my fashion choices. And so I'm like, well, you guys might want it and then pretty much always you end up wanting it so what's with the really long explanation for like the most basic information routine literally not necessary is it i'll package this up and then i'm gonna go post it and get my tattoo oh i stole my toy oh, i just got a tattoo yeah oh my fourth tattoo i'm just making noises you can't see it because it's covered up but when I can uncover it later, I'll show you. I'm very, very happy with it. It's like exactly what I wanted. It's like not directly central because then it'll be like properly on show. I didn't know that. I was out and having it central and then the tattoo artist like knew what she was talking about. So I was like, I trust it. <laughs> now we're going on a dog walk. Oh, I need a snack actually. The way I just stood there for like two minutes not knowing what I was doing. Let's have a snack. Oh, I've chosen a Nature Valley Crunchy Bar thing. Probably should sit down for this. I'll finish this and then I'll see you on our little dog walk. It's very grey outside, so it's not gonna be that exciting, but. Shall we go walkies? Shall we go walkies? Scooby dooby doo. You look really unfazed. I thought you wanted to go for a walk. Should we go for a walk, babe? Should we go for a walk? Come on then. Come on, let's go. Let's go. She's still got a light in her mouth. I'm gonna need my umbrella. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's the most dull day ever. Uh, there's a tiny bit of blood on this. I'm so happy with it. I need to put um, a pantom cream on it. Mine is like from 2020 when I got my first tattoo. <laughs> So it might not be like the best thing to use, but I got a fresh one waiting at um, my boyfriend's house. So I'll go back and get that. But I literally love it. Yeah, I came up here because I need to wrap a friend's present. It's his birthday on Saturday and he's gonna be 22, but I bought him, I'll show you what I bought him. It's funny, 22nd birthday and I bought him a, a game for anyone over the age of seven. You're welcome. We're about to head out for our meal. I've literally done nothing really since I last spoke, so. I'm having a good day and then we're gonna go for dinner so I'm excited I've never been to this place and I haven't actually been out for a meal in a while no that's what I really should have put a car on fucking Sunday no Saturday <laughs> Sunday no Saturday anyways no. ah I can't think I'll show you our food Good evening, good night. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I've had a really, really good day, good couple of days. Um, I've challenged a lot, I've done really well. I'm feeling good. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll love you and leave you. Uh, take care of yourself and I will see you all soon.